Right, so this is my new printer, the Open Beam Prism. And I've just um, been shagging around, getting all the firmware sorted out. So hopefully it's going to run. I've just uh, uploaded a very simple file to it from um, Pronterface and zeroed everything and set all the end stops and everything. So hopefully it's going to start going anytime soon. So you can see I'm running the Aztec XC, uh, X3 controller and so far I haven't managed to get the SD card bit to work but there's bound to be something in the firmware I haven't found yet so uh, all the motors were back to front and some of the motors were in the wrong orientation to other motors so we've had pretty much everything go wrong so far so now I'm just trying to heat it up. There is some communication error I'm experiencing with um, the heater bed for some reason. Whenever I put the heater bed on it seems to be screwing up the communication so I'm just trying to figure that out. But At the moment it's printing um, a replacement part for itself. It's printing one of these um, uh, pulleys here. So something useful. That's the sort of thing I'm going to wear out pretty soon I would think on this. So. So all the parts for this printer were designed um, on open source software and um, they're all um, free for download on Thingiverse. Um, just search for open beam and you'll find it pretty quickly, or look for printers for that matter. Um, all the parts for this machine were printed in red PLA and they were printed on that machine over there which is um, about my third or fourth machine. That's a, um, a, a modified mental presser, it's slightly oversized all round because I wanted to be able to fit larger objects on there and uh, that one prints up to about uh, almost 10 inches square. Uh, this machine here will have an effective printing area, it will easily print inside 200 by 200 by about 150 I think is the upper mark, uh, which is big enough for most things. You can see the z-axis is actually pretty good on this, it's, um, I'm not sure if you can see it there in the video, but it's very, very fine um, layer height and um, very minimal wobble, which is probably due to the rigidity of the structure as much as anything else. It's got to cool down for a minute because it's still too hot to touch. Look at that. Like I bought one. 